90 years ago, five members of the New York-based United Engineering Foundation joined with three federal agencies to launch the private-public partnership that would become the strongest national standard system in the world. Their vision was to create an organization based on the cardinal principles of openness, balance, due process, and consensus. Together they formed a neutral body that would coordinate standards development, approve national consensus standards, and halt user confusion on acceptability. The American Engineering Standards Committee, forefather of the American National Standards Institute, began with a modest budget and a staff that was on loan from a founding member. From humble beginnings came a wealth of activity. In its first 10 years, AESC set forth national standards that enabled technological and industrial innovation, protected the safety of American workers, paved a path for the development of our national transportation infrastructure, and laid the foundation for economic growth. In just a few years, the founding organization's vision of a coordinated national standard system had grown to international proportions. During the Roaring Twenties and with a focus on the global playing field, AESC reorganized as the American Standards Association. In 1926, the U.S. hosted a global conference that put the ball in motion for the formation of what would eventually become the International Organization for Standardization. And five years later, the U.S. National Committee of the International Electrotechnical Commission formalized its association with ASA and strengthened the collective voice of the U.S. standardization community. The Second World War illuminated the urgent need for increased industrial efficiency. ASA and its members were there to accelerate the development and approval of standards for quality control, photographic supplies, radio components, fasteners, and other products that were instrumental in the war effort. During the period of post-war industrialization, ASA helped to foster innovation in emerging industries such as nuclear energy, information technology, and electronics. Consumers turned to the organization as well, looking for verification that the flood of new products hitting store shelves were safe and reliable. Operating under a new organization name, the United States of America Standards Institute, a certification committee was formed to oversee the licensing of the Institute's first mark. The mark offered a public certification that products complied with an approved American national standard. It also served as the balance for the two-sided coin that is standards and conformity assessment. In 1969, ANSI adopted its present name and embarked upon two of the organization's most significant innovations. These actions placed the power of the pen in the hands of standards users. This greatly enhanced ANSI's growing credibility with industry, the public, and government agencies. The 1980s and 90s brought standardization into the limelight as a source of strategic and competitive advantage. In response to the North American Free Trade Agreement, the emergence of the European Union and the World Trade Organization, bodies around the globe sought to leverage the specifications that would give them an edge in the global marketplace. Standards were ushered into the new millennium on the shoulders of international commerce. No longer limited to product specifications, standards and conformity assessment grew to encompass performance, processes, systems, and personnel. ANSI itself turned its attention to addressing emerging national, regional, and global priorities, from homeland security to nanotechnology, from electronic health records to identity protection, and to alternative energies. Today, the Institute is facilitating innovative new technologies, 
while advocating a greater sense of consumer and worker protection and an overall improved environmental consciousness. From 1918 to today, ANSI continues to pursue the objectives of its founding members to lead and foster the work of the broad-based U.S. standardization system, to protect the integrity of this system, to promote the global competitiveness of business, and to enhance the quality of life for our global community.